Aunt May has been the mother figure of Peter Parker and comic fans for decades. She doesn't have any powers, and she isn't a super genius, but her love for Peter and good nature cements her as one of the most important Spider-Man characters. After the murder of her husband Ben, she does everything she can to ensure that her nephew has a future, no matter how rough things get. The best incarnations of Spider-Man are faithful to this character, and take a step further, executing her as wiser and even more endearing. That being said, there are bad versions of Aunt May. These write her off as a joke or unlikable. So, which versions of Aunt May are the best and worst? A lot of you brought up the great and abysmal takes of her in the comics, but I'm focusing on film, TV, and video games. With comics, there's way too much ground to cover, but I will give my thoughts on the Garbage Heap miniseries Trouble. Nobody was asking for Aunt May to be a teen sex icon! Don't read this, watch Linkara's review instead. For the best, there are a lot of good choices. The Spectacular Spider-Man series portrayed her as the comic-accurate, responsible aunt straight from the source material. But a man has to honor his responsibilities. You're one of mine. Aunt May, please, let me help. I accept. If you agree to set aside 10% of every check to save for that camera, deal? Deal. No surprise there, since this show is perfect. If only season 3 would happen. The Amazing Spider-Man movies where she's played by Sally Field is plenty grounded, at times even pessimistic, and not sugarcoating the bad news to Peter. Who does this to you? Please go to sleep, Aunt May. Please tell me. Aunt May, please, please, please go to sleep. I can't sleep! Don't you understand? I can't sleep! But she's still caring and supportive of him. If I had to choose the all-time best, Two interpretations come to mind, the Sam Raimi trilogy and Spider-Man on PS4. Aunt May in the Raimi trilogy was such a kind old woman. After the loss of Uncle Ben, she reinforces Peter's self-esteem, not knowing he would become Spider-Man. She was just looking out for her nephew. And she has her own arc in Spider-Man too. At first, she had a negative opinion on Spider-Man. How's the bug these days? The less you see of that man, the better. But after seeing his true colors in person, she changed her mind. Dr. Octopus takes her hostage, and this supposed menace tries to save her. When she realizes Otto's plan to kill him, this happens. <laughs> That's right, Aunt May saves Spider-Man. When Peter loses his powers and his motivation to be Spider-Man, she takes part in rekindling his passion through words of wisdom. I believe there's a hero in all of us that keeps us honest, gives us strength, makes us noble. Once again, she's giving Peter that nudge into becoming a hero, like Uncle Ben did with his morals. No wonder these two were perfect for each other. Some say she's too perfect or not realistic enough. I disagree. She does have moments of depression and uncertainty. When Peter confesses that he's to blame for Uncle Ben's death, she's shocked. She doesn't say a word after that. In Spider-Man 3, she plays a role in Peter's internal recovery. After Peter succumbs to the symbiote and gets revenge on Sandman for killing Uncle Ben, he gives the news to May, thinking it would give her some closure. But she's horrified by this. Even though Sandman killed her husband, she would never approve of vengeance. Uncle Ben meant the world to us, but he wouldn't want us living one second with revenge in our hearts. After Peter has hit his lowest point and rids himself of the symbiote, May helps him heal. I hurt her, Aunt May. I don't know what to do. You start by doing the hardest thing. You forgive yourself. Aunt May is the benevolent heart of this trilogy. The love for her family and her belief in people strengthens Spider-Man, as well as kids watching these movies. In Spider-Man PS4, Aunt May is the manager at the homeless shelter, Feast. Her eternal optimism has never left her, and she never stops being Peter's mother figure, especially when he's down on his luck. I'll pay you back. Soon. Just ask for help next time. Oh, you are so much like Ben. You have to learn to swallow that Parker pride and accept that you're human, like the rest of us. During the virus outbreak, she puts herself on the front lines, even at the risk of her own life. That speaks volumes as of this recording. 
look to these two for the best versions of Aunt May. The worst outside of comics either want her to be a clown or just plain spiteful. MCU Aunt May has been popping up in the comments, and I couldn't agree more. One of the biggest problems with these movies is the zero amount of tension. May is no exception, but she started out fine. In Spider-Man Homecoming, she expressed concern for Peter, telling him not to get involved with the dangers around the city. If you spot something like that happening, you turn and you run the other way. Yeah. Peter had this fear that if she found out he was Spider-Man, his crime-fighting career is over. You know what she's like? If she finds out people try and kill me every single night, she's not gonna let me do this anymore. But at the end of the movie, she does find out. <laughs> oh crap. Peter can't be Spider-Man anymore. How can he convince her and in Spider-Man Far From Home, she's cool with it? She has no problems about her teenage nephew fighting criminals every night, even though Vulture almost killed him. She is now one of the dozens of comic relief characters, never worried about Peter and dating Happy Hogan because lol. I know in some media she learns the truth about Peter, but that's when he's an adult. Peter's a grown man who can take care of himself, and he's been Spider-Man for years. He's experienced. Peter in the MCU is still a high schooler. If May found out that early, she would tell him to quit, regardless of what Uncle Ben said to him. If Uncle Ben is even in this universe, Peter is her responsibility. Instead of being his mother figure, she acts like his older sister. This isn't Gilmore Girls. But she isn't the worst. No, 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 no. That title belongs to Aunt May from the 1981 series. Now she's motherly to Peter, and acts like a sweet old lady. As long as you don't get her triggered. You're not friends with that awful Spider-Man, are you? May really doesn't like Spider-Man. She hates Spider-Man more than Michael Scott hates Toby. Every time Spider-Man is mentioned, she rants about that no-good son of a bitch, whoever he is. She even tries to kill him. In the episode Arsenic and Aunt May, the chameleon poses as a hypnotist who fools her into thinking the ghost of Ben can't rest in peace unless Spider-Man is dead. Wow, that's gotta be the most evil thing the chameleon has ever done. And so, she happily tries to assassinate Spider-Man with poisoned milk and an exploding cake. My spider sense tells me this cake isn't for eating, it's for throwing! If you want us to like Aunt May, don't make her hate Spider-Man. You gotta imagine how much that sucks for Peter. He goes out of his way to help others, and his own aunt is his number one troll. I just know that Spider-Man... Well, he's not as bad as some people say. No, whatever gave you that idea. It's expected to have multiple versions of Aunt May, same for every character established over half a century ago. I'm all for it. I like different visions of characters. I started writing the scripts for a video about which live action Batman is the best. But when you write a new version of a character, understand the core of that person. Aunt May is one of the most relatable aspects about Spider-Man. Despite Peter's powers, he is an everyman. He has a mother figure in a low-income house to worry about, and for her to worry about him. This is one of the most human parts about him, and you need to make that parental love believable. She should be like your aunt, your mom, your grandma. Whether she's written as a wise mentor who sticks to her altruistic beliefs or a warm-hearted, down-to-earth woman, you gotta get it right. Just don't make her a ditzy comic relief or a hater. Aunt May is special. Sometimes you gotta ask, who's Spider-Man's hero? And I still have this amazing person watching out for me. Tell me there's something better. Go ahead. Try. <laughs>